The tools in Camera Raw are located along the top left corner of the workspace. And what I'd like to do is go through and show you each of these tools in Camera Raw and just talk about them briefly and possibly show you how they work. At this point, again, I highly recommend that you have an image open and that you work along with me and try out these tools and see how they work um, and so you can get to know them a little bit better. So again, this is a real brief overview of these tools and we'll start here on the left side. So the first one here up is the zoom tool and with that selected, I can quickly and easily zoom in on a part of, uh, of the image. I can zoom out too by holding down the option or alt key and if you notice here, down at the bottom left, you also have a zoom level that you can select. And there is a drop down menu that you can open up and select a certain percentage. So with your image zoomed in, you can use this next tool over, which is the hand tool, to move your picture around to bring up a different portion of your image as it's zoomed in. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out and move on to the next tool. Oops, I zoomed out a little too much. Okay, so the next tool over is the white balance tool. So the white balance tool, you can click on something white and it will try to balance the light um, accordingly and it will change the color. Um, you can uh, <clears throat> use something white. Um, sometimes it may not do an ideal change, but then you can go in and customize it. The next tool over here is your color sampler. And the color sample tool, you can go in and sample colors and um, it will bring up the color values from whatever color you're sampling. Um, and you can do any number of color samples. The next tool over here is the targeted adjustment brush. So the targeted adjustment brush will adjust tone and color um, just by clicking and dragging on the actual image. So here, um, to select tone or color, if you click and hold this, you'll have a drop-down menu. So right now the parametric curve is selected. So if I click and drag to the right or left, um, I'm influencing the tonal curve here on the image. So for color, I can do hue, saturation, or luminance. So let's choose saturation. I can click and drag and saturate or desaturate um, based on whatever, whatever I would like to do, whatever adjustments I'd like to apply to the image. Um, so again, tone or cup or color adjustments. The next tool over here is the crop tool. And with the crop tool, you can go in and just customize your crop. And once you customize that crop the way you like, I'll bring that in just a little bit more, hit return or enter and uh, the crop will be applied. We have a straighten tool also and if I click and drag on a line here, um, it will change my crop accordingly um, to straighten that line. Next here we have transform. You can transform based on vertical, horizontal. You can rotate um, aspect, scale. You can offset. You also have some kind of, some kind of presets up here or predetermined set of applications for transform. The next tool over is uh, the spot removal. Um, I like to use the spot removal a lot. This is a tool that removes um, dust spots, dust that's found on the digital sensor, or just little tiny spots that you find distracting. Um, to use this tool, it's best to zoom in. And I've got a spot right here that's been kind of driving me nuts. So with this selected, I can hover the cursor over, I can change the size with my bracket keys, and then I can just simply click and 
what this does is it kind of copies and pastes um, to cover up that spot. The next tool over is the red eye removal. And this is, um, there's no red eye here, but um, uh, this, you would use that to change or fix any red eye that you would get. And red eyes cost from using a flash on your camera that's um, hitting straight on the eye. The next here is the adjustment brush. The adjustment brush, you can apply um, exposure or color adjustments or sharpening uh, and noise adjustments and by clicking and painting. So here, I actually changed a brightness or created a brightness adjustment and made this eye brighter. So with the adjustment brush, you can go in and apply just real selective adjustments to wherever you think you would need them. And once you have painted that area, you can go in and kind of customize um, that brightness. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here a little bit. Next over, we have the graduated filter. The graduated filter um, will apply an adjustment. Um, let's see. I find this very similar to um, using a dodging or burning tool in the darkroom. Um, which you all probably don't know unless you've taken a photography class before. Um, but this is also similar to a graduated filter that you'd use on your camera lens. So here, if I wanted to make that corner darker and I can maybe fine tune the adjustment to, um, to where it's applied. The radial filter is based on a radial adjustment so I can either make that brighter or darker around that spot and then I can change the shape of that as well so you can either add a lighter kind of vignette or um, or darker around that radius there's also preferences that you can pull up and you can rotate right or left so with these tools, you can really fine tune and customize your image in Camera Rob. And again, all of this is applied before you open the photograph. It's non-destructive. If I go ahead and apply these adjustments, there is the Camera Raw set of instructions applying to this image. And it's doing it in a non-destructive way. So next up, I will go over a little bit more in detail about um, straightening images.